Now, this question for our panel dropped in a couple of times here, so I want to be sure to try and squeeze it in here. And it's just asking the panel, how has the COVID pandemic impacted PTAB practice and, in fact, PTAB procedure as well? Yeah, so this is Andrew. I can I can take that question. I mean, I think that the the main thing has been that, frankly, the the patent office and the PTAB itself has taken to working from remotely and working from home very well. Um, many of the judges, whether they're uh, located close to the patent office here in Alexandria or close to a satellite office in Denver or Northern California, we're already uh, sort of accustomed to uh, remote working. Um, this team here uh, has done uh, a, a number of remote hearings. Uh, where we did everything uh, remotely. And so, uh, you know, the patent office has taken to the present situation um, very well. Um, and it's also, as far as impacts, it's it's um, definitely made some impacts in terms of the, you know, the, the, the interaction between proceedings at the patent office and how those may relate to uh, existing district court cases, where, as I mentioned during the segment, uh, about discretionary denials, how, uh, you know, trial dates have shifted and seem to continue to shift. And so, you know, overall, uh, you know, in terms of impact on the PTAB, it's, it's been relatively uh, limited because, uh, as I said, uh, the Patent Office is one of the administrative agencies that has a very long uh, history of remote working has taken to the pandemic and, 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 and seemingly taken its work and hasn't had all that much of a significant impact on their ability to prosecute these matters.